Hi guys, so welcome to the part 3 of the disk scheduling algorithm series in OS and today we'll study number 1 the look scheduling algorithm and number 2 the C look scheduling algorithm. So first of all if you have learned the scan and C scan from our previous video this should be a cakewalk for you. How? Just because in this video what in, the, in this algorithm changes we make is that the header is at 143 and we know our direction was this way okay so um, the direction was this way so now what do we do in this is that instead of going till 499 we just go to the highest request that is to be served that is in this case 1774 so for the look algorithm we we'll start at 143 we'll go to 913 the 948, 1022, 1470, 1509, 1750, and 1774. If you remember in the scan algorithm, we went, we went up to 4999 and then we came back down. But here, you will just go to 1774 and then while coming back, you will serve the request at 130 and 86. Okay, so yes, this is the only difference between a scan and a look algorithm, that is you avoid the extremes. So in this case, the total seek time would be equal to uh, 913 minus 143 and here, when it comes here, it will be equal to 1774 minus 130, whereas in our uh, in our scan algorithm, it was 4999 minus 130. So, uh, once you find the total seek time, it amounts to 3319. You can do this as a homework and you can just figure it out if you want to check your answers. It comes out to 3319. Now, let's have a look at the C look algorithm. Now, in the, like in C scan, what the difference between scan and C scan was that our direction of our head is fixed. Similarly, in look, our direction of head is fixed. But here also we avoid the extremes. That is, we avoid going up to 4999. Okay, so in this, we start at 143. We go to 913, 948, 1022, 1470, 1509, 1750. 1774. Now, instead of going up to 49999 like we did in the C scan, we go back. Okay. If you remember in the C scan, we went back up to 0, but in C look, you go back only at 86 because you, do, you don't go to the extreme, you go to the least value which you need to seek. So, you go to 86, and then from 86, you go to 130. And this is how you end. So the total seek time here would be 913 minus 143 plus 948 minus 913 and plus when we reach at 1774 it becomes 1774 minus 86 plus 130 minus 86. Whereas in the C scan it would have been 4999 minus 0. But in this case, it has 1774 minus 86 because we take the extreme values in our queue but not in the total number of cylinders. So that's it for the look and the C look. Oh, okay, I just forgot to tell you the answer for this. The total seek time amounts to 3363. So you can do this and check it for yourself. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. And do subscribe and do leave a comment below. It helps me keep going. And thank you for watching.